Uh, Problem X versus Goichi. This match was fucking sick. This is a really sick match. You can tell on past Sage Jam's face. He even looks excited. So Problem X versus Goichi. This is uh, loser's bracket, I believe, right? Or is this winner's? I don't remember, actually. Because Problem X first round beat somebody, and then he lost to Itabashi, right? So this must be a second round of losers. Damn, he's so good at air to airing like that. The strategy coming into this is so interesting. Right? The way problem has to adjust is fascinating. So if you ever if you're a player who has who struggles to adjust, this is a really interesting match to watch because Goichi has a really clear and set strategy coming into this set. And if you watch it, you can you can definitely see that that's the problem, right? You can definitely see that that's a, a big problem in this matchup because Goichi's strategy is to sit and wait. Right? He never does anything too risky. He just basically sits and waits. Look at him. Down. He's just waiting, right? Wait. Just nice and patient. Wait until it's no longer plus. Then take your challenge. Yeah, slides right under the fireball. You see how patient he is, right? So the problem is if he plays Manat, Manat gets dunked by Bison when Bison gets close. It's really terrifying for that character. Chun-Li has a reversal. That helps a lot. And he doesn't want to play Ibuki Bison. So if you want to play the wait and see style, this is great. Catches backdash. Backdash into full punish. Look at this. So, Devil's Reverse, you can make reads about where it'll land. And that, and that's what you see here. He comes down after the head stomp. Backdash to get out of the other way of it and punish on the, the uh, landing frames. I think with Ibuki, Ibuki's not as good as at like a weight and punishing style as Chun-Li is, right? See, look at that. Double down jab, spinning bird. Take the knockdown. She's really great at just waiting and, and kind of stuffing stuff. Yeah, counter hit, and he gets the combo. This is the strategy from Goichi. It's wait and see. He's almost never first. Uh, remember we talked about how Machibo has that article about the styles of neutral. And this is this is very clearly the wait and react style from Goichi, right? This is like that style where he's just he's waiting to see what, what Problem X does and just answering every time. Like he almost is never first. Except for on these knockdown situations, right? Offense is offense. He tried to ch chase the air jump jab, but look at him wait. Look at this, right? This is like supreme, just waiting, reacting style. And he does it a ton. He just waits for so long for, look at him. He can't be opened up. He just he just waits. And if Bison dashes, he's going to do down jab. Yeah, and interrupt. So Problem X has to find a way to consistently open him up. Look. Yeah, you have to make him flinch, right? Yeah, that's what you have to do. You have to open him up because otherwise Goichi's going to sit there and just down back all day and wait for Problem X to move. And as this set goes on, it's like harder and harder for Problem X to open him up, right? Mm, Jumping. Clean, clean jump over the down jab. Yeah, her roundhouse has kind of like a lower hitbox. It's, it aims towards the ground. And just wait. Wait, use that fierce to intercept him, interrupt the dash, right? Very safe style from Goichi. So if you're Problem X here, you have to come up with a, a strategy. Yep, CA. You have to come up with a strategy to beat waiting and seeing. And so this is where you have to start to just lead in with like Psycho Axe from mid screen and stuff. Good blocks. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a little OS right there. That's like a, a little kind of OS that you should do against Devil's Reverse. So what you do. When Devil's Reverse is coming down like this, you try to block it and you hit back plus jab. So here's what happens. If in this scenario, Devil's Reverse is blocked, if you're holding back and you hit jab, you block the Devil's Reverse and your jab won't come out. If you're holding back and then you hit jab and it comes out, it's because Devil's Reverse missed and you're not in block stun. So you're free to challenge. Right, it's really common. You see that a lot against Bison's uh, Devil's Reverse. So it's a good idea. You just delay a button, and if you're in block stun, right, you're blocking the move. You get look at that. Waits for the dash. It's a it's a really useful way to to handle Devil's Reverse. There's a few moves like that in the game that you can do that too. And wait, interrupt the dash again. Right, he's just waiting. He's waiting for Problem X. Solid blocking, reacting. Okay, I'm just 
locked out from Goichi. Very impressive. Man, what is it? Four dash? Yeah, four dash isn't a bad idea either. Yeah, he's minus there, so he activates, like, throws him out of the dash. And Goichi's just waiting. See that? He just waited for him to walk up and do down forward fierce. Oh, that's, that's it. That's what he was looking for the whole time. Look at the patience. He's just chilling. Problem X is dashing because Bison is slow on the ground, and he's trying to move in. Right? He's trying to get in there and make something happen. And that's, like, his main movement tool. Bison is so slow. That's what I like. Yeah, the air to air. Good choice. I think he likes he, he likes Chun in this match more than Ibuki just because Chun he may he might feel comfortable playing this kind of style. Yeah, throw baited. That's really strong. Yeah, and I don't like Ibuki in the neutral against Bison too much. Ibuki has to do a lot of just kind of blocking forever, and I think Chun has better buttons to intercept against Bison. It might just be one of those things where Goichi likes this matchup more for himself or something. He's just waiting for the dash. That's all there is to it. This range, you just wait for the dash. Yep, spinning bird finally. Dash interrupt. Every single time. He's so prepared. You know what's funny about... Oh, he, did you get him? What a block. And he gets the grounded punish, which is the best part about that. That's You have to wait and delay it a little bit. Crushed him. Other side. I'm surprised he didn't just go into CA, to be honest with you. He could have done a little bit better there, but that's that's not the end of the world. And yeah, this is like a this is like a, an extreme style clash, right? Problem X ran into somebody who's got a style and a strategy prepared for him, clearly. Right? Clearly. Yeah, I don't like Ibuki Bison. So he, he goes back in at this point, and this is where he has to adjust his style, right? This is where he has to adjust kind of like what you think uh, of if you're Problem X. Because for two games, Goichi is sitting and waiting, right? He's just sitting and waiting. So you're like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now what is the strategy to beat sitting and waiting? So there's a little bit more patience from Problem X at the start of this, which I like. But you have to start doing things that beat people who sit and wait. And one of those things is to just, yeah, to do stuff like that, right? Lead with your, your plus buttons and just be like, look, I'm going to be plus over and over and over and over because you're never going to do anything. People were were spamming problem solved in the chat. Where would I rank Bison on the tier list? He's he's pretty high up there, but not like top five or yeah, top seven character. He's like good, but not amazing, you know. Counter hit. He got him again. All right, he finally got him once. And this is where you have to make a count if you're problem X, right? You have to go in. Yeah, take that back throw for stun capitalize on these kind of moments because he hasn't opened up Goichi that much. <clears throat> Wins SF5 Faye. God, Faye is such a boring character. He's fun to play, but he's definitely a boring character. That one, that, I can't believe he got under. Yeah, some people would consider ROG top 5. It depends on the tier list. I like that to escape the, the corner from Problem X. It's a good choice in bar. Yeah, air to air him. He's been jumping a lot. So now in this in this position, he, he has to apply pressure a little bit better. Nice. All right. The dashing is not working. Yep. <clears throat> is Bullhorn better than Meterless DP? Probably. You have to commit to charging it, but yeah. I play Yuri and you're calling Faye boring. You can't possibly think that Fei Long is less boring than Yuri. Fei Long is a boring character. <clears throat> I like Fei Long, but he's a boring character. This is a pretty common solution to this, right? Problem does this a lot, as do many Bison players. You throw the EX Orb, and when you follow, people don't want to deal with it on the ground, so they jump air to air. He didn't get the juggle after, but, you know, it's pretty common. See, he's just waiting right there. So that's where Problem X is like, all right, if you're just going to wait... I'm just going to start to do down forward heavy punch. I'm going to just walk up to you, frame trap you. He's doing a good job of letting Goichi hang himself. That was like probably... This is a great example of how to make people throw a fireball. Fei Long is like definitely way more boring than you're in. This is a classic example of how to 
make someone throw a fireball. This is a lot like whiff punishing in that it's very easy to set up. So here's what he does. At this range, throwing a fireball is kind of scary, right? Throwing a fireball is kind of scary because at this range, he's so close to you. He could jump. He could beat it with a button. It really sucks, right? So what Problem X does is he walks back, and now we're sort of in the optimal range where throwing a fireball seems like a good idea, right? He's, this is just like setting up a whip punish. He, he went from, if you notice the difference in range, right? So before, we're in this range, right? Right after the orb, look at this range. This range between the characters, right? This range, you don't throw fireballs. This seems like a bad idea, right? You don't want to throw a fireball at this range. But what Problem X does is he lets him walk, he walks himself all the way back to the perfect range to throw a fireball, right? This, this distance right here, this is where everybody wants to throw a fireball, right? Not full screen, like three quarter screen distance. This is the perfect range to throw a fireball. He walks back into that range and then jumps. Because that's what he wanted. He put problem. He put Goichi in the range where he said, "Look, hey, this is your best option is to throw a fireball." Goichi agrees with him, and Problem X has the punish. And so he gets, you know, a huge, huge chunk of damage by baiting him into throwing that fireball. <laughs> It is that range to throw a fireball. It was a good range. I'll, I'll be honest with you. How long can you wait? Yeah, now problem's got to turtle up real hard here and just kind of wait to the end of this. Yeah, ex bullhorn. You see, this is definitely he realized how to beat. This is the moment where you could tell that he realized what exactly what to do against Goichi. Down strong. He realizes. All right, this dude isn't gonna wait forever, right? So down four fears. Down four fears. Down forward fierce. He realized at this moment, like, look, he's just going to wait forever, right? He's just going to wait forever, right? Like, he's just going to sit there and wait for your dash. And eventually, he cracks. What a block, yeah. Finally way to go he, he realized that. He realized at that moment how to play the matchup. And problem X, a real nice adjustment there. I like the down forward heavy punch a little bit more. I like that he is a little bit more patient. A lot of people hate their jobs. I've noticed that that is true. Yeah. I notice a lot of people. I talk to my friends who... I'm at the age where a lot of my friends are just finishing uh, college and they're going out to work. You know, in their first, like, real, like, I have my degree, this is my job kind of a... Man. All right, I got to talk about this. Hold on. We'll get in. Life life takes a second. It's a back burner to Street Fighter. Look at the adjustment from Goichi at the start of this. So he goes to sitting and waiting. And then he recognizes, like, all right, you know, sitting and waiting didn't do that much at the end of that match. I'm going to poke a little bit more. Two back fierces, back strong, walk up, back strong again. Right? He's doing a little bit more ground game. A little bit more buttons to intercept uh, Problem X. So he's string slightly from the sit and wait. Right? Back fierce again. He's trying to bait him into jumping. And more often. So Goichi has already realized that he has to play a little bit more mid-range. And now, like, all right, he's done enough. That he can sit and wait again. He's earned his time to sit and wait. Which is exactly what he goes to again. You see that? What he's doing in this scenario is switching between two styles of neutral. Alright? The first style of neutral is preemptive. Hit buttons first before your opponent to try to catch them moving in. Right? Hit, hit buttons be first in every scenario. Preemptively catch people moving in. Right? Second style of neutral that he switches to is the wait and see because he's like all right i've done enough here that this is time for me to wait and see i've thrown so many things at problem x that he's going to do something panicky to try to get in and this is his turn to do something crazy he's done he's done enough to make it, to go back to the wait and see style and that's what kind of the adjustment that he's making see wait and see again wait and see wait and see he's changing up his style like that he's trying to go back and forth the problem is is that problem x is also experienced, and he just, he's like, look, I see what's going on here. I'm going to just wait you out. See this? He's doing, now he is doing it to Goichi. He's like, all right, I'm going to wait, let you do something, and then counter it with my own, you know, option. It's a really interesting kind of exchange in how you play neutral. Yeah, Problem X says, look, man, I see what you're on about. Oh, that's really hard to do. He says, I see what you're on about, but I'm just going to sit here and wait. Good block. Problem X. Chip, V reversal. Yeah, it was not a real, not a real meaty, but yeah, he forced the, he forced V reversal, but I think that's okay because he lost all the bar. 
Look at Problem X. He's just waiting, right? He's not getting too antsy. This is extreme patience. And to play a character like Bison and be nice and patient like this is really impressive. This is why Problem X is one of the strongest players in the game right now, right? Look at him go. Look at how patient he is in this round, right? It's been 20 seconds already. This match is like... This match is, is a, a prime example of what defensive, kind of slow-paced Street Fighter looks like. Yeah, reset the situation with the fireball. Look at that counter hit pushback was fucking massive. Oh, he missed. He missed completely. Actually, not hitting a button there from Goichi is really hard to do. Somebody asked about dashing earlier to get under Devil's Reverse. This is a good example of that. Dash is right under. It's it's risky though because Problem X can choose where to fly this bad boy, right? Like while he's doing this. He can choose where he wants to go up here. He could go, when he is like a little higher, like maybe up by here, he can go this way. He can go back that way. You know, he can go straight down. He can choose what direction he wants to go. So. He, there's so much patience in this match, it's crazy. Finally, he dashes up and Goichi wasn't ready because Problem hasn't been dashing as much. This time he interrupts Goichi on dashing. Nice. It's a very safe, safe round from Problem X. Uh, yeah, the problem with trying to dash is that if the Bison player reads you, they can just fly it back to the kind of original position and catch you. Oh, that's a miss. Yeah, he probably tried a crouching attack and just got it. Yeah, Goichi began to crack on defense a little bit more right here. And Problem X is good at sniffing that out, right? Character like Bison is, you have to be good at that kind of stuff. Stun. And that's the game. Nice and easy, right? At this point, if you're Goichi, he has, he has realized, as you can clearly see, that his strategy he came into this with is not working now. Now it's like, all right. The strategy you came in with was really strong. It's clearly good enough to close out a two out of three, right? But now you have to readjust because Problem has realized how you're playing and like, yeah, he, he's on to you. Late dash can work, but here's the problem with late dash as well. If, let's say that Chun-Li in this scenario is going to late dash and EX Devil's Reverse is going to come down this way. Uh, the problem is, here, let me get the fight off the screen. The problem is, is that what can happen is that your character can be crossed up one way or another and you might accidentally get back dash instead of forward dash, uh, depending on where your character model is looking. So it, it happens especially when Bison is right above your head. So late dashing, I agree with you, is not a bad option. It's, it's a really strong option. If you mix that up with like low profile attempts or jump back attempts or uh, walk under attempts, It's it can be tough for Bison to stop, but he can read it preemptively. It just depends on what you're doing. If you rotate those options, it makes Devil's Reverse worse, for sure. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I agree with you that it is a strong option. There's definitely a big enough gap that Goichi could hit a button there, but whatever he hit was too slow. Too slow. <clears throat> yeah, Bison players have to be sort of one of the trait of the characters is that you have to be good at recognizing your opponent's defensive tendencies and patterns and making them crack. Like, when a Bison player recognizes what you're going for on defense, then you're fucked, right? Because they just, like, walk up to you and they're like, yep, roundhouse, and you just get crushed counter. And you're like, well. That was a punish. He keeps the pressure really safe right there, right? He didn't do anything too risky. just takes a little blo uh, block string. That's kind of how Bison has to play, right? He has to look. He has to look to make you. Yeah, that that's worked pretty much every time. <clears throat> Life and jobs. Yeah, I was. That's right. That time he, he stays a little bit more frontwards. Activate. This is probably the best activation. Oh my god! You see this shit? Uh, flame activation is one of Bison's best activations. Look at him duck. This is the cheating shit. Bison has the furthest throw range in the game, right? So in a scenario like this, he just gets away with murder because his throw will reach when hers doesn't. Boom! Grab, grab her by the noggin. 
That's so unfortunate. Who just out of range and he knew it. Problem X with the further back range as dictator. <laughs> what up, fat? Biggest throw range in the game right there. That's the difference, right? That extra throw range from Bison. Yeah, Bison has further throw range than Chun Li. Right? It's to compensate for the fact that Bison has the slowest walk speed in the game. So, again, to watch it in fast motion. Yeah, he just has further throw range. It's because of his slow walk speed, you know? Slowest walk speed in the game, so to make his throw threatening, he has to have further range than other characters. Characters with fast walk speed tend to have shorter throw range. That's to compensate. That's how it works. Generally, it just depends on the character. Yeah, Bison has the, th the furthest throw range in terms of pixels. Yeah, fast throw walk speed and big throw range makes your, th your throw game strong. The things that make your throw game the strongest in any character is walk speed. Uh, walk speed is one of the biggest ones, but not just forward walk speed. Back walk speed is one of the most important things because walking backwards and that's why. All right, so Ken has one of the best throw games in the game, right? He has really dangerous throw and throw baits. It's because his back walk speed is the second fastest besides Vega or one of the fastest. It was in season one anyway. I'm not sure now. But he has one of the fastest uh, back walk speeds in the game. And he has hit confirmable throw baits in back strong and standing medium kick. So, But in the meantime, Problem X has really cleaned this game up, right? He's realized that Goichi is waiting for him to do stuff. So he's just kind of like playing even more patient. He's like, look, if you want to play slow, I'll play like doubly slow and just wait for you to whiff stuff. See, he keeps it nice and safe there, activates and throw. Yeah. Don't don't give him anything to react to. Don't do any like crazy stuff. Just like do something simple there. I like that idea. That was really smart. Ah, uh, the dash through. He finally got Goichi cracking right there. I like this choice because when he does this, right, he puts Goichi in a bad spot where he gets the throw. And now he just has to guess. This is such a bad, bad. Yeah, Vega has the fastest walk speed in the game. Right here, I don't know if this would have beat Spinning Bird, actually. I think he would have dashed through and maybe got clipped on the other other side. But damn. That was like the first time Problem X got to use... Look, this guy has four. It's like one of the first times Problem X got to use his V-Trigger to actually enforce mix-ups, right? Yeah, crouching jab will stop Bison's dashes. Exactly. But remember at the start of this set, Goichi was jabbing every single dash, right? Every time Problem X dash... Jab that bad boy. But the problem with Bison is that, or any character really, is that when you play reactively like that, you're looking for one thing, right? Your eyes are focused on one thing, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, when he dashes at me, I'm going to down jab. And then Problem X walks up to you and does down forward fierce. And you're like, fuck, that wasn't the dash I'm looking for. All right, be cool. He's plus. I'm just going to wait, right? So he does down forward fierce, then he does down strong, then he does blast. And you're like, all right. He's definitely going to dash now. So I'm going to down back and look for the, the uh, jump or whatever. Or I'm going to look for the dash. And then he jumps at you and you're like, oh shit. And you block it. And you're like, all right. He's definitely not going to dash apparently. So instead, I'm going to look for that. And then he dashes. And you're like, fuck. You know what I mean? That's how they get you. A good bison player will get your eyes looked looking somewhere else while they steal from the cookie jar. You know, That's sort of how bison players have to play. Or any character who has offense like that, right? Any character who has offense that's similar to that.